Hey guys, what's going on? Troy at Mountain Man Treasury here. I'm sitting in line to pick up some coffee and I owe you a what sold, so I figured, why not start it now? So let's run down the things that we've sold. Uh, the last things that we showed you were over the weekend. So how about starting on Monday? now? they actually sent me a message saying, you know what, I will pay for these on the 29th. Today, Wednesday is the 29th. So they sent me an offer actually for the full price. I waited until Tuesday to accept it so that it didn't kick it into uh, an automatic case to give them the chance to pay. And uh, they paid actually overnight. So I'm not sure these either either sold on Monday or today on Wednesday, but they sold. Uh, these are old Nikes that are in pretty much new condition. They look like mom aerobic shoes back from the 90s. I couldn't even really find any comps for these. They have such a cool look, and I'm really glad they sold. They took a while to sell, but uh, they sold for full price, so that's really cool. Now, I also took an offer on this hat. This is uh, an Arizona, or uh, I'm sorry, a Phoenix Coyotes hat. Uh, I took an offer of $12 on that hat. It, it probably worth a little bit more, but uh, lately I've been okay with accepting the offers that have been coming through. So uh, I accepted the offer on this hat's super easy to ship and cheap to ship. So uh, we made a few dollars on that. I think I'm about a buck and a half in on that one. Okay, and then this I actually picked up uh, at a, sort of a, a, a private pick, essentially. This guy was gonna be having a garage sale and uh, I went over there wasn't frankly a whole lot there but I saw a couple of Denver Broncos things and I grabbed them I paid five bucks for uh, three things one of them is something I can sell when I have a garage sale a little bit later this summer probably for two or three bucks uh, but uh, this thing up here is uh, pretty cool this is actually a numbered lithograph uh, very, very cool. It's from uh, the Orange Crush, if you remember them back in the day. I think this is number 36 out of 50. And uh, I took an offer. I think I had it up for about 30 or 32 bucks. And I took an offer of 25 plus shipping. So that's going out. And the sale of the week so far, and I can't imagine anything beating this. Uh, if you guys remember a little bit back, look back a few videos. I picked this up on a Facebook Marketplace porch pickup this is a lego set here it is 150 dollars guys 150 dollars for some legos now this is a uh, a retired set so that always makes them go up in value the architecture legos uh, from what i found uh, tend to be pretty valuable now as you recall I paid $25 for this. Uh, I, it was mostly put together already, which was nice. I finished putting it together and found out we were missing just a couple of itty bitty little pieces. Uh, I found those on uh, online, so I ordered those. And so add another five bucks to my total. So I am $30 in on this. And somebody sent me an offer. I think I, I had it listed high. I had it listed at like 160 something. And I accepted an offer of $150 plus priority shipping. All told, he was more than $170 into this thing. So that that is not bad, guys. That was really, really exciting. Awesome sale. Uh, we sold this watch for 40 bucks. It's a digital watch. It's a hunting and fishing watch. You can track like uh, the sunrise and uh, sunset and all that sort of stuff. There's a whole bunch of features with this thing. I bought this for, I think he charged me five bucks at a garage sale last summer. Uh, it, it's a pretty pretty good watch. It's, it's probably about a $50 watch, but I accepted an offer of 40 bucks. I was only five into it. Well, uh, I was about 10 into it because I did take it. It needed a new battery. So I did take it and get it serviced and got a new battery in it. And uh, so I'm about 10 bucks, but 10 bucks into 40, I am fine with that. And then a uh, retail arbitrage find. I've sold one of these before, you saw that. Uh, the one I sold before went to Mexico City for like 23 bucks plus uh, 1999 that I charged for shipping. Now this one, they sent me an offer. This got caught up in a sale and then they sent me an offer. I'm moving forward. I'm, uh, I'm not up, but I'm next. Um, so we've got time to keep talking here. Uh, I got sent an offer on this for $18 and I, I could have held out. It probably would have sold again for about 
20 to 23 dollars uh this toy pretty hot right now if you can find it but i thought you know what i'm fine i paid six and a half bucks for it so i make some profit i move it out and um you know i'm happy and I, somebody got a good deal so that's pretty good and then we sold this funko pop too i took an offer of 20 dollars on this it's probably a 25 dollar pop but uh again gave somebody a good deal and i made money this i think the last funko pop that i had in a uh, local deal i bought like 15 or 17 of them for or something like that uh and i think i paid like 35 bucks I, I can't remember but i was hardly anything into these i was a, a buck or two into all of these and some of them were some pretty high dollar pops so this uh, complete profit for this funko pop and again on an offer sent in this um i think i picked this up for a quarter at a sale uh, pretty long term again I've had it since the summer but uh, I knew it would sell eventually it just had a cool look this vintage Las Vegas belt buckle I, I love selling belt buckles I'm almost out of them right now I need garage sales to pick back up again so I can find some more you can generally get them pretty cheap and they sell between 10 and 15 bucks so this sold for $14 uh, free shipping but didn't cost hardly anything so there's that and then if you remember the uh, the ornaments uh, the lady that bought the penguin playing the piano for 60 bucks in uh, the previous video she asked if i uh, had the others i didn't i went back to the hallmark store though bought the others for a dollar a piece and uh gave her a good deal on them told her i'd send them to her for 25 dollars shipped and so in order to do that if you make a deal i mean you still want to do it through ebay you want to make sure that uh you're not doing business outside of ebay one sec it's my turn um two shots yeah she's making she's not making my drink She's making my wife's drink. Um, and so now I can talk with you all again. Um, so if you're going to do business out, um, on eBay, don't do it outside of eBay. So what I told her is um, I will make a bundle for her. You know, we came up on a price already. I said I'd do it for 25 bucks shipped, and she was fine with that. So I said, you know what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make a listing, and I'm going to list it high. I think I listed it at like $69.99 because I didn't want anybody to swoop in and get it. Um, just not that. Okay. I didn't want anybody to swoop in and, uh, and, and and get it. I didn't think they would, but you want to make sure, right? So what I did was I, I priced it high, enabled best offer, and then she could send me an offer for the agreed upon price. She did that, and we shipped out these penguins for 25 bucks. I was two bucks in total, so we made some good money on those. Now we're headed home, and uh, so I can continue shooting this thing um these shirts that i've got up here these were a pickup let me close my window it's gonna be loud i'm going down the frontage road uh these shirts i picked up at tj maxx actually this is a retail arbitrage buy uh i think i was a dollar or two into each one. i think they were each a dollar actually it was when they were having a big sale and uh lasted a little while but i just thought they were cool shirt uh retro throwback to nickelodeon and the ones got all sorts of characters on it really cool and they're the same size uh, i didn't think they'd sell great on their own so i thought you know what let's put it together let's make a bundle deal and uh it worked out i actually got an offer from somebody in the uk they sent me an offer of 36 great british pounds and i accepted um actually they sent me an offer of 30 initially uh now that i recall they sent me 30 and i think i had them at 41 40 41 something like that so i sent back an offer a uh, counter offer of 36 and they accepted right away so i uh, got those shipped out and once i had them in the envelope they weighed in right at 15 ounces so it snuck right under that one pound international rate so got them sent out for 15.95 so made a pretty good profit on those accepted an offer on this shirt up here this is a harley davidson shirt with foghorn leghorn uh it's a uh it's what i think it was a 3x i don't know probably says up there in the listing um so it was a good size harley davidson and looney tunes i mean a great combo great size so i knew this one would sell i paid i think four dollars for this at the thrift i got this at a half off it was normally eight i got it for four um because i, I picked it up on a half off weekend and this actually was already packaged up. I had sold this once before. It was an international uh, order that I accepted an offer on, and they never paid. I, For whatever reason, I just uh, anticipated, you know what, they want this, they're going to pay. And most of my internationals do pay. I, I never really have problems. And for whatever reason, this one did not. And, okay, we're going to... This guy's going 40 miles an hour on the frontage road. So... 
we got and now they're speeding up love that right um so i already had this packaged up i i, I had packaged it up early I, I usually don't do that because i hate having to deal with you package something and then it doesn't sell it happened uh, it happened this time and um the, the, the good news is it sold again and I already had it packaged up. All I had to do is print out the label. So uh, I took an offer of $18 plus shipping on this. It was probably worth a couple bucks more, to be honest. But remember, I'm accepting offers right now. Let's do some more. I'm almost home. I know my camera angle keeps changing. <laughs> the camera keeps shifting up here. Um, so I apologize for this thing being uh, a little erratic. Uh, this puzzle. Uh, remember I talked before about being open to possibilities when you see them. Uh, this, I actually remembered, um, you're fine, you're fine. Our neighbors are moving. Now I'm home. Um, but let's finish these real quick. Remember I talked before about being open to uh, possibilities when you see them. Uh, now that originated, it's interesting, that originated by me going in to find puzzles and instead finding ornaments. Well, you know what? It went in reverse this time. Um, one of the puzzles I found in that instance was uh, was this one, or it was one like this one, and it sold very quickly. I went. I realized the other day that, you know what, we have two Hallmark stores. And so I went in to check if they had any ornaments on sale as well. It's just a little, it's a very small one, the second one that we have. And they didn't. They didn't. I mean, they had ornaments. They didn't have the very old ornaments on sale for a buck. So um, nothing doing there. As I'm walking out, I see over in the corner, they had puzzles. And so I checked the puzzles over there. And sure enough, one of these going to the movies, it's got all the uh, posters from 80s movies, classic 80s movies. Um, they had one. And so I paid up for it again. I paid 20 bucks for this puzzle. But I had already sold it once before and I knew there weren't very many listed. And so I picked it up. I picked up two puzzles. Um, this one sold, it got caught. I'm running a 30% off sale right now to try to push some sales and it sold for $37.79. So I definitely made some profit on that one. And then we also sold these toys that uh, I, I, I picked these up from Target before Christmas on a, uh, on a sale. And then I had some coupons and stuff like that. So I'm like four or five bucks into these, maybe something like that. And I've sold about three or four of them already. This was the last one and it sold, uh, I don't remember offhand the price, but it's up there. I think it was $16.99 right in that ballpark plus shipping. So we, we made some money on that and it clears out some more room in the tote. Okay, now we're getting on to things that I sold today. Uh, this thing, uh, actually, I think the uh, the toy sold today. Uh, something else that sold today, I took an offer of $45 on this shirt. This is the Lord's Gym. If you guys didn't know, and I didn't actually, uh, not until recently, Lord's Gym t-shirts from uh, generally like the mid-90s is when they came out. There's variations of them, but uh, variations on a theme. They're going to look very similar. They're going to look like this in large part they're gonna have jesus in the cross you know what those are bolos guys keep an eye out for these the sell-through rate on these is ridiculous this one had a little hole in the back and a little mark on the back of the shirt but uh there there were no other designs exactly like this one and so i knew this was going to be a good one i actually got this one from another reseller uh, he saw on one of my videos he saw a uh, study Bible that I had picked up and uh, he sent me a message on Instagram and said, you know what? I am another reseller uh, wondering if you'd be willing to do a trade. And, uh, and so we did that. He actually wanted the Bible for himself and uh, he sent me some, uh, uh, sent me two shirts. And so I think we're going to do okay. We're, we're going to eventually make about the same, maybe a little bit more than we would have off of that study Bible because this one was a good sale. Took an offer of $45 plus shipping for this one this morning. Again, could have held out, maybe got about 50 or 55 for this shirt in, in the long term, but it, it wasn't worth it for me to wait that long. I'd rather just move it out. 45 bucks is a great turnaround, and we've still got one other, uh, it's a Stone Cold Steve Austin t-shirt that uh, we got from him. That looks like it's gonna sell much slower but I think it will eventually sell because it does have a cool look and uh, then we'll make our money on that. So it was a good trade and I hope he enjoys 
that Bible. I, I, it was a very nice Bible in very good condition. So uh, I, I hope he enjoys it. And he actually uh, just very recently uh, ha had a little baby born. So uh, congratulations if you're watching this video. And uh, I hope everything is doing well with uh, with your new kiddo and with mom and everything that's going on. I, I hope all is well. And uh, once again, I, I appreciate you watching. And uh, if you want to do any kind of business, any kind of trading again, absolutely. I mean, that, that was absolutely a fair trade. And I'm, uh, I'm very happy with that. So uh, the Lord's Gym, keep an eye out for those t-shirts, guys. This one is funny. Uh, this one, I sent out offers to watchers on uh, quite a few things. Uh, a couple days ago, I think it was on Monday, and uh, somebody countered for this puzzle. It was listed at the time. It was like pushing forty-five bucks, uh, forty-three bucks, something like that. Um, so I sent out an offer, took a couple bucks off. I think took five percent off, and they sent me a counter offer of thirty bucks. And uh, I thought, you know what, that's that, that's okay, but uh, it's not great. I paid sixteen bucks for this. This one is a free shipper, and so I needed a little bit more. Um, and so I countered at 35, which, or no, 30, excuse me, 38, which I thought was fair, but I would have taken probably 35 just to move it. I paid $16 for this one. Um, I sent an offer of $38. And so what did they do with their offer of 30? They came back and then offered 25. Um, normally I would decline, but I was like, you know what? No. You sent me a lower offer than your initial offer. That's obnoxious. So I sent back 38. I just sent back the same offer again. And I got back, uh, well, I got back this message. Got accused of price gouging on a puzzle. Well, number one, I'm not price gouging. I'm just, you know, this is a, this is a fair market price for this puzzle, quite honestly. And you can't price gouge a puzzle. That's not how this works. Um... So the very puzzle that I was accused of price gouging during these difficult times has now sold. Two days later, not for the 38 that I offered, but for 41.99. So that was the mic. And then the last one, at least the last one that has paid as you watch my uh, cross the street neighbors work with their trailer over here. They're moving. Sorry, this camera got There we go. Um they're moving. I'm sad to see them go. They're great neighbors. Um, I took an offer of $12 on this, uh, American Eagle denim mini skirt. Um, I think I had it up for like 16, 17, I don't know, but took an offer of 12 bucks. I like selling these little mini skirts and uh, booty shorts. They sell actually really, really well and you can get them cheap. So, uh, they've paid and that's going out. I've accepted another couple of offers, but I don't want to show you those. They're just small items, but they haven't paid yet. So if they pay, we'll show you what happens through the rest of the day. But so far... Really, really nice sale. Yeah, really, really nice sales over the last couple of days. Okay, guys, so uh, lighting, admittedly, not great here. I'm not setting up the ring light. Just a couple more things that we're going to tack on before I have to run everything to the post office. Uh, I sold this puzzle up here. You remember the puzzle I talked about picking up at uh, at the Hallmark store? I picked up this one, too. Picked up two. They both sold. This one, I took an offer of $32. Uh, you know, I paid 20. We don't make much, but they paid shipping. And so a quick turnaround from Monday, uh, we make eight bucks that quickly. I'm okay with that. And you know what? I want to get out of those puzzles before they sit too long and the puzzle market dries up. So, you know what? I'm okay with that. So that one, a, a quick move. And then we sold a couple more things. I, ex I had an offer come in for this Starbucks tumbler this morning. Uh, didn't accept it, sent a counter. They sent an offer of, uh, of 25 bucks and I sent back 28. Uh, it's, it's gonna be cheap ship because they are also in Montana. And I uh, got them a pretty good deal, still at 28, really. And uh, she just now accepted it. So that's going out to, uh, to somebody in Power, Montana. And, and then that actually came in. We had back to back to back to Ching's. Two of them were for um, one person, and then one was that Starbucks mug. It was weird. They all came back in, but one person bought this Five Finger Death Punch uh, t shirt. I bought this for $1 at Goodwill. And then somebody, uh, that same person, Bought this Nightmare Before Christmas Hot Wheels. I just picked this up last week at Walmart. I picked up three of them, I believe. So this is a little retail arbitrage find. And uh, we're $26, $27 together uh, for these two things. It's free shipping, but it's going to be a, a pretty light ship, I'm expecting. With the t-shirt and uh, the car, we're looking at about, uh, I don't know, 11 ounces or so. So not bad. 
I think this has been a pretty good day. That's all that we've got for you today, guys. I'm going to cut this off before it gets too incredibly long, but we've had some really good days of sales. I hope you have, too. On your way out, hit the thumbs up, hit the bell, hit the subscribe if you haven't. At the time of recording this, I have 666 subscribers, so I'd really like to gain one because that's just weird. Thanks, guys. We'll see you next time.